a late bloomer to marriage, I married a man at 42, and we had a worthy six-year run. <laughs> Single again at 48, I entered the scores of love seekers in a vastly growing online dating world. You know, it's healthy to desire companionship, connection, love. It's what we do as a species. It's how we're hardwired. But how we go about finding love varies, from arranged marriages to debutante balls to our current day of online dating. Well, people seem to be finding love, or at minimum, chats. Oh, the chatting. <laughs> and dates. As any newly divorced or rejected person will attest, one of the stages of grief post-relationship is the need for validation that we are indeed lovable. For me, early on, this led to a number of scurrilous chats and photos passed to and fro that I would never share with my mother. I began soon to wonder how I wanted to meet a man online. My preferences as a lead-up to romance or something more substantial. Forget the meeting someone vibe you get or don't get in person. I found that involved parties tended to steamroll into expecting a romance or a sexual tryst. To me, major steps in protocol and discernment were skipped in avoidance of courtship to really learn about one another. <laughs> I began to study what, what men and women wrote in their, pro in their uh, profiles, myself preferring a date soon after meeting online, not hours, days, and weeks of chatting back and forth. I turned words and photos into what I wanted to hear and see. <laughs> Not the chap who was writing. My ex expectations upon meeting were too great as I'd already created who I wanted, not who was there. So I wondered at what I read and viewed in men's profiles. It was very interesting, very, very interesting. A propensity to grimace in photos and to wear shades. Maybe an attempt at the tough guy look. <laughs> Photo of just their heads, no body shots. Photos of their kids, grandkids, babies, and more babies. Wasn't this for a fifth date sharing? Photos taken of or in their bathrooms. <laughs> Good to know that you're messy and that you keep the toilet seat up. Maybe you have no friends. Maybe Is that important to me to take a shot? Sharing what you drive. You love hot cars and motorcycles. When I lived in the South, a lot of photos taken sitting on their, wait for it, John Deere tractors. <laughs> Moving to Bozeman, 15 shots of one fella holding large forlorn fish. <laughs> Heck of a provider, that fella. And Lord have mercy, once I began dating a chap who early on sent me a, a photo of himself in his briefs making a muscle man shot. <laughs> The photo was dated six months before we began dating each other. Clearly, he targeted another viable candidate for love six months earlier. Hey, no one likes a used muscle man shot, especially if muscle manning is not your core competency. <laughs> and the men who share all the things they don't want in a relationship, the assertion of wanting no games, no drama. Oh, come on, this is life. I don't think most of us expect drama or games, but we're all trying to figure this out. And what is meant by a game? Uh, I, 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 proper etiquette, if someone winks and comments on your profile and you find that you have nothing of interest, is it rude to not answer back? I once told a fellow that I didn't feel we had enough in, t in common to continue, and he, he yelled at me, said, you don't even know me, in all caps. You don't even know me, missy. Whoa, tiger. I consider the uber-attractive hot babes on the site. Can they really expect to respond to all the men who flirt, wink, chat, and send cyber roses? Hardly. So what, what are the rules with proper etiquette with online dating? The women, they all wanted the same thing. Long walks on the beach. Weird. We live in Montana. <laughs> A man who is generous, who likes to travel. I get it. Travel generous. Beaches. Sugar daddy. <laughs> Cuddling on the sofa, holding hands, a man who listens, who cooks and cleans up after himself, basically all the things her former spouse didn't do. They all like music except rap. Boy, the bad rap rap gets on these sites. Time with your children, their children, the Brady Bunch. Oh, but from the ladies, oh goodness. All manner of salacious photos, breasts and derrieres and blouses slung over one shoulder. This followed by a stern chastising that they are not interested in men, only interested in sex. Well, then stop selling it online, ladies. 
I came across a transsexual on the ladies' site. You know, he was pretty. Leading me to investigate the plethora of online dating sites available for short and tall people, LBGTQ communities, models, millionaires, techno geeks, ukulele players, Hasidic Jews, Trump lovers, haters, Hillary diehards, people who love cats, people who hate cats. Oh, that reminds me, one gentleman asked me quite directly after the first cyber hello. After reading your profile, I think we have a lot in common. I, too, am a business coach, hike and ski, travel, and though I have children, they are grown. I see you have cats. Are they important to you? <laughs> if so, best wishes. My response, are your children important to you? There are sites for folks with fetishes, scrapbookers, little people, and for folks wanting an affair. Seems that Ashley Madison, whose byline is, life is short, have an affair, with 56,690,000 members is the largest growing dating site on record. Seems folks in a relationship want a different relationship. How to find love, keep love, and love what you have. You know, I, I think I prefer the old-fashioned way of meeting someone, getting a sense of his vibe, his humor, looking for a twinkle in his eye. But until I feel that overwhelming zing of attraction, connection, and timing, <laughs> I've decided to be content with my beautiful world and that I have a fond four-footer who shares my king-sized bed. Thank you. <laughs>